Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to find the length of a missing leg of a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem, and we're going to be working with decimal side lengths. Now remember, we use the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared, with a and b always being the legs. It doesn't matter which leg is a and which leg is b, and then c is always the hypotenuse. If we know the lengths of two sides of a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of the third side. Let's jump into our example where one of the legs is given, that's 8 and 3 tenths meters, and then the hypotenuse is given, that's 12 and 6 tenths meters. We need to find the length of the missing or unknown leg. Let's make this leg A, this leg B, and the hypotenuse is C. So we use A squared plus B squared equals c squared. Now we can plug in what we are given in order to find the length of that missing leg. So let's plug in 8 and 3 tenths meters for a, so 8 and 3 tenths squared, plus b squared, while well, b is the missing leg, the unknown leg, so keep that as b squared, equals c squared, so c is the hypotenuse, that's 12 and 6 tenths meters, so plug that in, and that is squared. Now let's work through this equation in order to find out what b equals. 8 and 3 tenths squared gives us 68 and 89 hundredths plus b squared equals 12 and 6 tenths squared gives us 158 and 76 hundredths. Our next step is to subtract 68 and 89 hundredths from the left side of the equation. And whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So subtract 68 and 89 hundredths from the right side as well. These cancel out on the left side of the equation, so we are left with b squared equals, and then 158 and 76 hundredths minus 68 and 89 hundredths gives us 89 and 87 hundredths. So now we have b squared equals 89 and 87 hundredths. We need to isolate b now. We need to figure out what b equals. Since b is being squared, we can take the square root in order to isolate b. So let's take the square root of b squared. Whatever we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So take the square root of 89 and 87 hundredths. B is now isolated, so we have B equals, and then as far as the square root of 89 and 87 hundredths, that's not a perfect square. So we do not end up with a whole number answer. So B equals the square root of 89 and 87 hundredths. Now we can write this square root as an approximate rounded decimal. The square root of 89 and 87 hundredths is irrational. The decimal never stops and it doesn't repeat. So again, let's round it. Now since the other side lengths of this triangle go to the tenths place, let's round it to the tenths place. So the square root of 89 and 87 hundredths gives us 9.8. 4, 7, and again, this continues on. So I'm going to write it to the hundredths place. That way we can round it to the tenths place. So we have a 4 in the tenths with a 7 to the right in the hundredths. So this rounds up. This is approximately 9 and 5 tenths. So B is approximately 9 and 5 five tenths, and this is meters. 
So the missing side length, the missing leg, is approximately 9 and 5 tenths meters. So there you have it. There's how to use the Pythagorean theorem in order to find a missing side length, an unknown side length. And specifically, we were looking for a missing leg. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.